Hi everyone. Today our topic is fish farm engineering. Fish farm engineering. Before we starting the fish farm engineering, we know about that fishery. How in India fishes will be culture. Most important point is that this fisheries is also divide into two types. First one is the fin fin fishery, fin fish fishery, and non fin fishery. Means those are the fishes we are culture. Means they having the fins. That type of animals we are culture in fin fish fisheries. And non fin fisheries means those are the animals they does not have the fins. Means they are another example lobster, crabs, prawn. These are these animals are included in the non fin fishery. In that fin fin fishery, it is also divided into three important types on the basis of their water, brackish water fisheries, the coast, uh, we call it the coastal fisheries, marine fisheries, and inland fisheries. And all these fisheries, inland fisheries, coastal fishery, marine fishery. For that purpose, we need intensive pisciculture, or we are culturing the fishes here artificially. For that purpose, we must need the fish farms. This fish farm engineering means what happened? We know why we need to fish farm engineering. Most important point is that we know that these fishes having different stage. They having various stages of their life, such as spawn, then hatchlings, then half fry, then fingerlings. These are these we call as the life varies stages are present. For that purpose, we must need to the fish farm engineering. Means various type of the pond we require for the caring of that animal. Rearing of that animal for that purpose, fish farm engineering is very important. Now, most important point is that what do you mean by engineering? Engineering is nothing but the manipulation or designing such type of the construction will be take place of that farm or we call it the fish farm. That type of the uh, fish farm engineering we call it the engineering we call it the fish farm engineering. Here, this fish farm engineering mostly we know about that. Which type of the fishes we are culture in that fish farm engineering? Mostly in India, mostly three varieties are we call as the Indian major carps. This Indian major carps, why we call as the Indian major carp? Because it will be indigenous. Means mostly these fishes will be found only in India. For that purpose, we call as the Indian major carp. Now, what do you mean by carp? Carp is nothing but that the weight of that fish or the growth of that fish is above the one kg or we call it the five kg. That type of fish we call it the carps. Means here we are culturing these fish, fishes into that farm or it will be having demand in the market. For that purpose we are culturing this type of the fish. Here three major carps. First one is cutla cutla. Leburoita and third one is the Sirmes Mirgala. These are the Indian major carps. Likewise, in our country, exotic carp means those are the fishes are introduced from the foreign. In our country, that type of animal we call as the exotic type of the fish or we call as the exotic major carp. In that exotic major carp, three varieties are also present. First one is the Cyprinus carpio carpio, Tinopheridon idelus, and Hypothermic Voltrix, these are the three varieties of the exotic carp. We are culture these all six carps in India mostly because it is a demandable in the market. For that purpose, we are uh, culturing this type of the fish in that fish farm. Why we introduce or why we need, what is the need to farm the fish farm? Only because of this. We know this market value of that fish is high and demand is also high. 
for that purpose we are culturing these type of the fishes into that farm fish farm now very important point is that what is what, which is important for the fish farming the fish farming very important point is that first one the topography of that uh, site then water availability of that site then third one is the soil type of that site and fourth one is the layout how the fish farm will be layout because here different types of the ponds are present for that purpose we are also layout will be formed likewise you know that in our if suppose we are constructing our home we know about where is our how, uh, hall where is our kitchen it will be layout likewise layout is very important because we are doing here fish farm means here economically it is a very important for that purpose we are construct or we are produce these these is very important point we are selected here fish topography at the fish farm topography then soil type water supply and this layout is very important for the fish farm or higher production now another important point is that we are constructing the fish farm but here what happen these are the mostly two important point here we are constructing fish farm for the fish production it having the different types of the layout and if suppose we are production of uh, seal production means we are doing here seal production for that purpose it having the different type of the layout means if suppose we are selecting site and if suppose we want to production we want to fish production then layout is different and if suppose we are production of this seal production as well as the fish production that time layout is something something different therefore it is also important layout is here important now first we will see the topography why topography is nothing but that the features of that area surface feature those are the surface feature that surface features we uh, surface features of that uh, area we know about that means what happen the topography means that they were the surface feature of that area how it will be present likewise selection is very important site therefore topography is important in the topography what happen if suppose we are selecting like that it is a well shaped uh, site we will select or we call it bowl shaped like means three side is upper side and one side is narrow side because of the drainage purpose likewise we are select this type of the topographic place for the fish farm construction this is very important likewise in the topography we also important find is that if suppose we are selecting the topography or site that time is also important whether it is a road is present or not electrician present or electric connection is not present or not then uh, all necessary availability are present or not everything will be uh, important for the construction of the fish farm therefore topography must require it is a valley means it is a valley shaped or it is a bowl shaped like surface area is required for the uh, drainage water or the rain water will be gather into that bowl shaped water or shape area means it will be three side is upper side a uh, embankment area three side is upper side and one is a narrow side for the drainage purpose likewise we need this type of this side for the fish farm fish farming another important point here soil type soil type is also important why it is important soil type because you know that if suppose we are culturing the fishes or we we are constructing the fish farm for that purpose we must require the water large amount of huge amount of the water is required and here what happen in maharashtra mostly in maharashtra mostly lot of places is a dry region for that purpose the or soil type depend upon that soil type the water percolation rate of that soil is high therefore the water will be not locked in that places therefore percolation rate is high and evaporation is also done therefore here what happen lot of fish farming is not present here site but in andhra 
or in the coastal region mostly the water availability is more because water percolation rate is very slow and evaporation is also very less for that purpose we must require this soil type means our water is not lost by the percolation for that purpose we must require this soil type if suppose it is sandy rocky soil or porous soil it is avoided that places we are totally avoided and in which places we are doing the uh, fish farming those places having the clay soil silty high clay soil high clay silty clay soil is a very good soil for the fish farming therefore we must do that site for the fish farming another important point if suppose this clay soil is not available in that places but topographically it is good or by electrician road transportation is very good but that time we are using this seal this bottom bottom of the pond with the clay soil or we got a the silty clay will be uh, produce a specific type of the layer on that um, pond likewise this is about the soil type another bit, very important point is that water availability mostly a uh, water availability from the rivers reservoirs lakes rainy water wells these are the availability of sources of water and these water and if suppose mostly best is the reservoir and lakes these are the best water sources means we are construct this type of the pond in that site of the reservoir near to the reservoir near to the uh, lake lakes in that area we are easily construct the fish farming next one is the last one is the layout of the fish farm on the this layout on the basis of their uh, fish farm this fish farm having the different types of the uh, sizes means mostly why we need the different types of the sizes because we are doing here nursery pond rearing pond and stocking pond means we require because already told that it is about the why we are construct this type of the fish farm because of the the life stages of that fishes having the different varies like spawn then hatchling then fries fingerling these are the stages and then it will be grow into the marketable size and it will be transported into the market likewise it having the different uh, sizes varies in their sizes for that purpose we are using the different types of the ponds nursery pond rearing pond and stocking pond these are the three important ponds are required if suppose we are fish production if suppose we are seal production also doing seal production in that farm that time we also require the spawning tank also we also hatching pit is also required these are the present connect to each other with the uh, channel or canal therefore the layout is very important we are do this layout we having the different types of the sizes of the pond depend upon the fish size uh, uh, depend on that uh, specific size farm which type of the farm more large farm then large size of the nursery pond rearing pond stocking pond likewise you know that uh, you know that if suppose a uh, child we are firstly introduced in the nursery school then introduced into primary school then introduced into secondary school likewise here also we are use this type of the different ponds different ponds for the rearing and caring of that animals if suppose it is a, after spawning it will be entered into the nursery pond for the development again this nursery pond mostly this nursery pond is a uh, annual one time in a year because it is a dry after one month two month because of this we are only introducing for the um, these spawns for the rearing purpose after rearing it will be introduced into the uh, rearing pond after what happen this nursery pond is a annual this rearing pond is a annual also and perennial also and last one is the stocking pond we require availability of water 12 month or it will be annually or per perennially required this water is perennially required must be required because it is a stocking pond if suppose market demand that time we are using this type of the fish for the transportation likewise we must require the water availability in that stocking pond uh, as compared to the nursery and rainy pond 
and we are providing the food for that purpose food house is also required here feeding habit Feed, uh, feeding house is also required then a small herd is required for the security guard all are constructed in that fish farm we all see here this is type of the fish farm is available or it will be constructed this is nothing but the layout of the fish farm likewise we are also constructed for this fish farm another important point we are culturing here all fishes katla rohu mirgal we are culture here because katla means we are culturing mix culture means mostly polyculture will be done here because more production will be occur mostly if suppose we are for construction this type of the pond or uh, fish farm that time we are using mostly polyculture because here what happen polyculture means more production will be take place mostly main uh, objective from that fish farm is higher and higher higher production from that fish farm for that purpose we are using this type of the fish farm for the higher production therefore we are culture the polyculture here means katla rohu mirgal means katla rohu mirgal means katla is a surface feeder and rohu is a column feeder and this mirgal sirana mirgal is a bottom feeder for that purpose we are culturing this type of the fishes into that fish farm for that purpose it is construct this type of the fish farm these are the general uh construction of this fish farm engineering thank you very much like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you